Hello friends, welcome to e-learning session on SCADA architectures. In this video, we are going to see different architectures of SCADA. This figure shows typical SCADA architecture, which mainly consists of five components. Those are SCADA master terminal, that is MTU, then operator workstation, which consists of human machine interface and operator console. Next is RTU, remote terminal unit, which may be PLC. And the last element of SCADA architecture is communication media. The communications networks is intended to provide the means by which data can be transferred between the central host computer servers and the field-based RTUs. The communication network refers to the equipment needed to transfer data to and from different sites. The medium used can be either of cable, telephone or radio. The use of cable is usually implemented in a factory. This is not practical for systems covering large geographical areas because of high cost of cables. The use of telephone lines is more economical solution for systems with large coverage. The leased line is used for systems requiring online connection with the remote stations. This is expensive since one telephone line will be needed per site. Then the dial-up lines can be used on systems requiring updates at regular intervals. Here, ordinary telephone lines can be used. The host can dial a particular number of a remote site to get the readings and send commands. Remote sites are usually not accessible by telephone lines. The use of radio offers an economical solution. The radio modems are used to connect the remote sites to the host. An online operation can also be implemented on the radio system. For locations where a direct radio link cannot be established, a radio repeater is used to link these sites. Historically, SCADA networks have been dedicated networks. However, with the increased deployment of office LANs and VANs as a solution for inter-office computer networking, there exists the possibility to integrate SCADA LANs into everyday office computer networks. The advantage of this arrangement is that there is no need to invest in a separate computer network or SCADA operator terminals. Also, there is an easy path to integrating SCADA data with existing office applications such as spreadsheets, work management systems, data history database, geographical information system, and so on. SCADA systems have evolved in parallel with the growth and sophistication of modern computer technology. The three generations of SCADA systems are first generation monolithic, second generation distributed, and third generation is network. Let us have a look at monolithic, that is the first generation architecture of SCADA. When SCADA systems were first developed, the concept of computing in general centered on mainframe systems. Networks were non-existent and each centralized system stood alone. As a result, SCADA systems were standalone systems with virtually no connectivity to other system. The VANs were implemented to communicate with RTUs and were designed with a single purpose in mind, that of communicating with RTUs in field only. In addition, uh, in addition WAN protocols in use today were largely unknown at that time. The communication protocols in use on SCADA networks were developed by the vendors of RTU equipment and were often proprietary. 
in addition these protocols uh, were generally very lean supporting virtually no functionality beyond that required scanning and controlling points within the remote device also it was generally not feasible to intermingle other types of data traffic with rtu communications on the network connectivity to the scada master station itself was very limited by the system vendor connections to master were done at the bus level uh, bus level via adapter or controller plugged into a cpu uh, redundancy in this generation were, was accomplished by the use of two identically equipped mainframe systems one is called as a primary and other is uh, nothing but backup connected at the bus level the standby system's primary function was to monitor the primary and take over in the event of detected failure now let us see the second generation which is distributed generation or distributed system the next generation scada systems took advantage of development and improvement in system miniature and uh, local area networking that is lan technology to distribute the processing across multiple systems multiple stations each with a specific function were connected to a lan and uh, shared information with each other in real time these stations were typically in uh, typically of the micro mini computer class smaller and uh, less expensive than their first generation processors now some of these distributed stations serve as communications processors communicating with field devices uh, such as rtus some serve as operator interfaces providing the hmi for system operators still others served as calculation processors or database servers the distribution of individual scada system functions across multiple systems provided more processing power for the system as a whole than would have been available in a single processor the networks that connected these individual systems were generally based on lan protocols and were not capable of reaching beyond the limits of local environment some of the lan protocols that were used were of proprietary nature where the vendor created its own network protocol or version thereof rather than pooling an existing one off the shelf this allowed a vendor to optimize its lan protocol for real time traffic but it limited the connection of network from the other vendors to the scada lan distribution of system functionality across network connected systems served not only to increase processing power but also to improve redundancy and reliability of the system as a whole rather than simple primary standby fail failover scheme that was utilized in many first generation systems the distributed architecture often kept all stations on the lan in an online state all the time for example if an hmi station were to fail another hmi station could be used to operate the system without waiting for the failover from primary system to secondary the wan wide area network used to communicate with devices in the field were largely unchanged by the development of lan connectivity between local stations and scada master master terminal unit these external communications were still limited to rtu protocols and were not available for other types of network traffic as was the case with first generation of systems the second generation that is distributed generation of scada systems was also limited to hardware software and peripheral devices that were provided or at least selected by the vendor now next we'll switch over to the current generation that is the third generation which is networked scada generation 
this is the current generation of skada architecture which is closely related to that of the second generation with the primary difference being that of an open system architecture rather than a vendor control proprietary environment there are still multiple network systems sharing master station functions these are still rtus utilizing protocols that are vendor proprietary the major improvement in this third generation is that of opening a system architecture utilizing open standards and protocols and making it possible to distribute scada functionality across a wan and not just a lan open standards eliminate a number of limitations of previous generations of scada systems the major improvement in third generation comes from the use of wan protocols such as the internet protocol for communication between master station and communications equipment this allows the portion of the master station that is responsible for communications with the field devices to be separated from the master station proper across a wan vendors are now producing rtus that can communicate with master station using an ethernet connection so this is what the this is what about the all the three generations of scada system those are monolithic distributed and network and nowadays we are using we are in third generation of scada that is network thank you